Hello everyone and welcome back to WSO2 API Manager series. My name is Kumar Gaurav and I'm back with another video on WSO2 API Manager version 4. So now we'll start checking out different web portals provided by WSO2 in API Manager version 4. Considering the length of the video, this section has been divided into four parts and this is the first part of this topic. Let's quickly check the agenda of this tutorial. So in API Manager, we have four uh, different portals. Publisher portal, developer portal, admin portal, and carbon portal. And sometimes we say it's a carbon console. So in this session, we will see the overview of publisher portal. That is, we will see the interface of publisher portal along with different features or the options provided by it. So here is the uh, quick snapshot of uh, publisher portal so we have to navigate to the url host port slash publisher typically it is uh, your host name with the port number uh, in the local machine we have a 9443 port along with the local host slash publisher and it should redirect to the login page of the publisher and once we have successfully logged in to the publisher portal uh, an interface will look similar like this where we have a different options in the left navigation and in the main section. So we'll take a deeper dive of all the options available into the demo. So let's begin the demo. We will be checking out the different portals provided by WSO2 API Manager and we'll see a quick overview of all the portals. We'll not go into detail. Uh, we'll be covering respective portals and their functionality in details uh, once we uh, get into a deeper dive. But for now, we'll be checking out the quick walkthrough of respective portals. Okay. So, uh, assuming our API manager has been started. So, first, we'll see the publisher portal. We have to navigate localhost 9443 slash publisher. Okay. Please mention this HTTPS as this runs on the SSL port only. Okay, let's log in with the default credentials, which is admin admin. Okay, so this is our publisher portal. As you can see, uh, with API Manager 4, there are a lot of improvements, changes, and uh, like features have been introduced. We'll be covering those features. Uh, as and when required but for now let's take a quick overview so in api manager 4 we have a rest api op option to create an api to create a if you have a soap api if you have a soap service you can create a soap api we have a graphql we have a streaming api all these features are bundled with api manager 4 if we see there is a concept of services it helps to support uh, integration services using micro integrator and we can have API products as well. So API product, what it is, we'll be covering in the detail, but uh, just to give you an insight, if you have multiple APIs and uh, they have different resources, we can create API product uh, out of which we can grab a particular resource to expose an, as an API. Scope gives a fine grained access control to respective APIs. We can have a policies uh, that we can apply to a particular gateway and finally we have analytics so with api manager 4 which is a choreo based analytics platform okay so this is separately we'll be covering let's go back to api section so in order to see more features what publisher portal provides let's deploy a sample api so we can create an api from scratch we can use an open api definition or we can deploy a sample API. So in this tutorial, we'll be deploying a sample API. So this will create an API and will deploy to the default gateway. Okay, so deployment has not done. So this API has been created. Now we'll see the features one by one. So in the overview tab, as you can see, uh, yes, so the API has been deployed now. So there are different stages uh, which is available in API Manager 4. 
so this shows the published state uh, we can check it out the API which is current or the if you have multiple versions we can check it out version wise uh, API uh, like uh, overview uh, we can see in the developer portal from here if we click here we will go to the developer portal we can create a new revision from here we can download the API or we can even delete an API okay so let's go and these are the same details uh, let me check it out one by one so context like this is these are the default details as set by uh, the API owner okay so provider stands for who has created an API context means this API is available to be accessible at which path this is a version number this is HTTP based access okay. created time updated time business owner technical owner it suppose HTTP HTTPS transports API security which is protected with OAuth 2 access control has not set accessibility in the developer portal which is public as of now unlimited business plan has been attached okay so these are the resources which is order with the post and menu with the get and uh, we have the order order ID get put post delete we'll be seeing one by one okay here are the endpoints production and sandbox let's go back now with api manager 4 the uh, the attributes of an api has been categorized so we can see the api basic information from here we can make the changes from here we can even change the logo or the icon as well so yeah so we can change the logo okay when we can remove so as of now we are not going to make any changes okay so this uh, is basically the publisher access control so if there are multiple users with the publisher role so they we can uh, restrict role based access in the publisher as well same happens with the developer portal as well so we can have a public visibility as well as restricted by roles so it should not be accessible to all the developers for subscription we can filter out we can use the tags to filter out api in the developer portal for the grouping logical grouping of the set of apis we can define an api category this we will be covering in a separate session because this can be managed through the admin portal uh, other optional parameters are github or the slack url okay we can make this as a third party or we can make it as a default version yes or no okay in the business information you need to provide the business owner details okay so this uh, pizza shack api uh, business owner is genro here are the details if you go to the subscriptions we have seen only one subscription is there we can add attach multiple subscriptions as well to this particular api and we can define which subscription is going to be used at later API documentation is very very important so for any API that you are going to create you must attach a valid document here so the documentation type can be you can have a inline text or you can have a summary or you can have a markdown you can have a URL you can have a file you can attach a file as well it could be PDF word text document okay so through developer portal if any developer has or uh, marked any comment it should be visible here or well, we can write a comment over here if we go to api configurations which is an important part so yeah so we can define a transport level security this api would be accessible through which uh, like transport uh, security HTTP, https as of now it is we can also have a mutual SSL if our backend is protected with SSL and it supports SSL based authentication. Okay. So application level security application is nothing but a logical uh, grouping of set of APIs which is available in the developer portal. So this defines what kind of authentication mechanism can be applied to my API. So as of now, this is over two. We can have a default key manager where as of now we have allowed all we can customize the authorization header as well the course configuration we can set schema validation and response caching as well okay 
next so resources resources means the uh, the basically the functionalities that provided by api so as of now let's say we have a uh, we have following resources available on pizza chef we have we can post an order we can get the menu we can get the main order by order id we can update an order and we can we can delete an order okay we can set the rate limiting policies at api level or operation level okay so if we set an api level then the rate limiting policy which is common to be applied to the all the resources if we set operation level then we have to set rate limiting policy per resource level okay or per operation level uh, okay so we are done for now then we have a api definition so so this api definition is getting exposed by api manager for this particular api whatever api we are creating over here this api definition is automatically generated okay then we have an endpoints we have http http endpoint we have a service endpoint soap dynamic we can have a mock implementation or aws lambda it's also supported by api manager we can provide the production as well as the sandbox endpoint for backend is protected uh, or was backend is using specific uh, certificate which is not uh, signed by ca then we can we have to attach those certificate for this backend url if it is https okay we can also have a load balancer configuration we can have a load balancer as well as a failover configuration for backends so if you have multiple backends we have to attach this load balancer or the failover configuration from here local scopes uh, this is basically for the fine grained access control policies we can have a policy uh, this is basically a new feature introduced in api manager 4 this was not available with api manager 320 or the 320 latest patch level okay so we can set the policies from this stream next we can have a property per api level we, we can create a property which is nothing but that is basically the key value pair we can set it from here and even we can access uh, in the same in the api uh, via wc2 sequences okay and uh, we can also have a monetization feature available so we can set our billing engine and we can configure the same deployments as of now this is single deployment which is our on our local gateway which is first deployment which is running on one gateway you can deploy a new revision from here try out console basically if our api has not deployed we can test it out our api from the publisher portal itself so yeah this is one of the cool feature so without going to the developer portal generating the keys and all the things so we can have a test key generated over here but the requirement is that the api should not be published okay uh, in previous versions there was a requirement the api should not be published but in this version let me see if we can have the api testing available yes so we can test the api from the publisher portal itself without going to developer portal okay so finally the life cycle here we can manage the life cycle of an api we can these are the different stages so created pre-released published deprecated blocked or retired so blocked api can be published again but if it is deprecated then the final stage is to be retired deprecated api cannot be republished okay so that's all for this publisher portal so thank you very much for your time and stay tuned for my upcoming hands-on lab exercises on WSO2 API Manager 4. You can refer to my blog links for useful contents on WSO2 products and official API Manager documentation as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.